Adrian, you were kicking things off with a look at a Will Smith and Joel Edgerton new Netflix movie. It's called oh Bright, gosh. and it really mixes reality with fantasy in, it, a, in an unusual way. It's an insane mashup. I'll just <laughs> say that. You know, the way this movie came about, Netflix wasn't even a contender. Will Smith says they sent it to all the top studios. Then Netflix came to play, putting more money behind this than anyone in Hollywood in another move to put the silver screen in the palm of your hand. You gotta get out of this neighborhood. Bright is big and bold and unlike anything you've ever seen. Give me one word to describe the movie Bright. Bizarre. Yeah, twisted. It merges the worlds of medieval fantasy and police drama. Training day meets Lord of the Rings. I mean, when right. you go around talking to people about this movie, it's like, yes, there's going to be fairies, yeah. and there are going to be elves, elves, and a magic wand. And a magic wand. And the LAPD. And the LAPD. What? If you imagine the creatures from Lord of the Rings, imagine that was 4,000 years ago. But then all of those creatures came forward into modern day. And now we're in modern day Los Angeles, but there's orcs. I'm the first orc. orc. The first orc. I had to Google orc. <laughs> An orc, a mythical goblin or ogre-like creature. The first orc to be allowed on the LAPD as part of a diversity training program. We never see Edgerton's face in the film. His transformation takes three hours of makeup every day. Everybody's just trying to get along and have a good life. Smith says he is touched by the film's different. message about the world we live in. In the movie, I'm a black police officer, okay. but my character is racist against orcs. A sort of a flip of social hierarchy. It's a fairy tale that allows you to talk about stuff that we don't like to talk about, or we, we sometimes don't talk about enough in terms of how we treat other people in society. We just have to treat each other a little bit nicer. The film, the most expensive ever made by Netflix, cost $90 million to make. It may be precedent setting in how we go to the movies. This could be the new wave where you can watch it in a theater or you can watch it from the comfort of your own home. I remember when I, when I went from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air the, the weekend that Independence Day came out. I was staying in a hotel and I went in Friday and they were like, hey, Will, it Will. And after Independence Day came out, that Monday was the first time somebody called me Mr. Smith. Right. Right, so. You graduated. I graduated, so there's something about that silver screen that definitely does something inside of people. Unrelated to the movie. Yes. Is the story about you and Jada going on a Cajun swamp tour with Tiffany Haddish true? Yes, that, that, that's 100% uh, that's true. Jada said, what are you doing tomorrow? We off work, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, well, I got me a Groupon to go on this swamp tour. On a Groupon. On, Everything. on a Groupon, yeah. yeah. The Cajun swamp tour was fantastic, though. She was driving strangely. I was on the steering wheel like this. <laughs> I was just trying to get away and to be free, and, and Tiff knows how to create environments. Well, thank you for joining our environment. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Right. And so the one thing, the one thing I would have done besides asking him for more details on the Cajun Swamp Tour yeah. is have Will and Joel freestyle rap about this movie, because Smith has become synonymous with summertime and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme yeah. song, and of course, here come the men in black, all, you know, all these songs. And, uh, but they've got a great soundtrack. They've got a soundtrack featuring Migos and Future as well as so many other artists. So it's out in theaters and Netflix tomorrow. It could be yeah. a trio. You've got a nice voice. Yeah. Yes. I picked up on that. Well, it's you know. all part of the album. We throw a little pop news in there, a little sprinkle <laughs> of song. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Thank no you, problem. Adrian.